technically it is now October 25th, so welcome to day 25 of Vlogtober. And late at night time, we often have these big tugboats go by and they shine the lights in our home and they carry these big barges of veneer. So this is one of the sea imps. This is the sea imp 11. This is not the little imp that decided to make that big wake the other day. I'm just gonna slowly go down this way. They have already opened the bridge so that the sea imp can go through with the barges full of veneer and there is one there followed by another one and you can usually feel that a boat is coming so I was able to grab the camera and get out here in time so that I could share with you what we see on or just off of the float house sometimes in the middle of the night. I'm just currently working on knit vent test knitting right now. I am on project two and I am on the 50% spot right now and I'm about to put my knitting down for the night but I wanted to start off October 25th with a quick view off the float and it's I've shown these ones before when they've gone by but I've never actually been at the front end to catch the light but they are very bright and it's amazing yesterday I would or two days ago I guess now because the 23rd I was able to show you the sea imp and the crazy wake that it had created and you saw how it moved the house these ones are really quite smooth they've got that really big load and you don't feel the house moving when they go by but you can kind of feel the vibration in the water that they're coming down because the sea imps are really really powerful tugboats anyway that is the way we are going to start off day 25 in the midnight hour and I will see you in the morning of day 25. I'm just gonna do a little bit more knitting and I'm gonna head to bed, but I wanted to share with you a little bit of, I don't know if you can hear the water. Just the power of those barges and the wake they leave behind even though they don't leave a big crazy wake like the other day anyway this one's gonna this one is going to go through the bridge tomorrow it'll I'll see it on the other side of the bridge they'll be unloading it all day and then a couple more days they'll bring down another barge I will see you in the morning of the 25th as I said just past midnight here and happy day 25 Good morning. It is now daylight hours of October 25th and I just went down to my neighbors. We were taking the dogs for a walk and I went down in just my shirt and I realized very quickly it is chilly out. So I came back home, dogs down at their place. I've put on my cheering hat. I have my kindling mitts and I have my lovely bobble. Um, it's a pattern by Jules, the bobble cowl. I'll have to look it up. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. But I am definitely warm and I am about to go for a walk in my warm snugglies. Though I do kind of wish I had some fingertips on here. We are back from our walk and I have a very, very wet scout. And let's turn, oh, please don't get on the couch. Oh, let's turn the, to me, top, a little bit wet, sides are good. Um, my tiddly palm neck snuggler, I couldn't remember when I was heading out the door, is definitely wet, but kept me nice and snugly warm while we were out for our walk. 
So I'm just gonna hang it up and I've got some eggs that I boiled before we went for the walk. I'm gonna make egg salad sandwiches for Nathaniel for lunch and get on with the day. And Scout is hopefully going to dry off on her blanket. There we are, I am all pretty much dried off. I think the ends of my hair are a little bit wet from the walk. I have, it's Halloween week, made myself a nice cup of tea in my Haunted Mansion mug. Hurry back. And before I went for my walk, I boiled some eggs and then put them in the fridge so that they cool down. And I'm just going to make some egg salad for Nathaniel for his lunch today. I've got our green bin here and um, he's coming home for lunch so I wanted to have something for him. I hope I boiled these enough because otherwise they might be a little bit yolky inside. We had a really nice walk which was great but it was definitely rainy. I am seeing that the sun is trying to poke its head out although it's still raining on the river. I can see the raindrops, but I would love if we can get a little bit of clearing this afternoon because I would like to take photographs of my... You ready for a spoiler alert? Spoiler alert as I crack eggs. My anthology shawl. Tracy, what is the anthology shawl, you ask? Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Gotta love our spoiler alerts. That is the first pattern from Knitvent 2022 that will be released this Thursday. And if you saw Helen's little hints, if you wanted spoilers, and I've given them away now. So the first pattern is going to be called the Anthology Throw. And I was never quite sure how to describe it because I didn't know whether it was a throw, a shawl, a blanket. It is so big. It is a pie project. So if you want to wear it as a shawl, it is a super, super huge shawl. You can use it as a blanket. So I guess that's why it's called the throw because it sort of fits between shawl and blanket. And it is a very, very large pie project. And it's bigger than the Inkling Shawl. So if you have seen Helen's Inkling Shawl or you've knit the shawl, it is actually bigger than the Inkling. And there were rounds, because I couldn't even say rows, like I couldn't even say I've got 10 more rows to go. I had 10 more rounds and I knew if I said rounds, that that would give it away. So I had to be kind of quiet about it. And so I am now finished. It is blocking upstairs. I need to take it off of the blocking mat. And oh my gosh, it is so big and round. I've done the best I can with it. And um, it, I'm pulling off little pieces of egg, which I don't want to do. Um, it's really, really big. It is beautiful. I'm looking forward to taking photographs and I am so excited to finally be able to share it with you on Thursday. So only a couple days away now. So Knitvent 2022, another hint has come out. So that's very exciting. I just need to rinse this off. Nathaniel's home in 10 minutes and I'm not doing well peeling eggs and chatting at the same time. So. And I've got a dog who is whining at me. So I'm going to turn this off for a few minutes, finish off the egg salad so that when Nathaniel gets home, he can have lunch. And I think I need to put Scout outside. Someone is home for lunch and he has a nice egg salad sandwich. Did I do a good job? I haven't took a bite yet. Okay, take a bite. Yep. Good. Isaac has come home from his training day at work and he has brought his weekly box of treats and today it is Earl Grey tea. Earl Grey tea from Starbucks and he is making me, he's the new barista so he's making me a tea, two bags, Earl Grey, 
and because it's not a takeout mug, he has to sort of tuck it around, all special. I do say there's only two good places that make tea, and that's Tim Hortons and Starbucks. And I am drinking out of my Haunted Mansion mug, as I was the other day still, because, you know, it's Halloween week. And which mug are you drinking out of, Isaac? The Riverside mug. His Riverside mug, because that's where he loves to stay. Anyway, I'm going to take my tea over to the knitting area. Now, today's order of business is to straighten. I did do a little bit of straightening on the red chairs, but this is making me feel a little bit anxious. So I need to clean up my knitting table. I can't even, I cannot point you over to the buffet right now because there might be a new wonderful test knit that is there that I've just taken off the blocking mats. But my job today is to clean this up because it is making me feel stressed out. In order to clear off my knitting table, I need to do something. I have grabbed the waist scale and my yarns from the anthology throw. And I'm just going to quickly record my yarn usage in Ravelry. So this one is Victorian Rose. And out of 100 grams, I still have 24 grams of that one. That was the one I used the least of because it would be the equivalent of only using four skeins while the other ones, because I used five different colors, I used what would have been five minis um, for each of the skeins, and this one was only four. So 24 grams left. So my color A, I used Fairy Hill, and I'll just take out the, I don't think it weighs, it doesn't even register on how much it weighs. So. I have 15 grams of my first yarn left. This one is Blossom. And Blossom, I used, I have 13 grams left, so I used 87 grams. This one here is Aurora. And I used all but 13 grams, so 87 grams again. And the last one, this is the one I used the most of, and this was Flutter, this is my color A. And my yarn left, six grams. So six grams of Flutter, so six grams left, 94 grams, so point nine four. And let's save, and then I'm going to let Ravelry do the math for me. Well, most people would probably use minis. I really enjoyed using full skeins, and so 500 grams of yarn. I have this much left. The total yardage or meterage that I used was 1,725 meters of these five skeins. So it is a very, very large project. And now that I have weighed my yarns and recorded them in Ravelry, I can now put that in my yarn jar to be used for something else that I will knit in the future. It's not quite as bad as it was. And this is the stuff that I like to keep within arm's reach so that I can grab and use while I'm working on things. So a couple pairs of scissors, stitch markers are always helpful, counters, hand cream, got my seam ripper there, and of course my needle for what I'm doing grafting. And, and then I've put most of the other projects away. I need to put my Nancy Drew bag and my holiday road bag just in the drawer here so that they're easy to reach. These two project bags here are going to be knit vent project bags. I haven't shared this gorgeous project bag with you. I received this beautiful 
bag as a swap that I did with Vicky, who is a beautiful stitch. And oh my goodness, is this bag not perfection? This pink linen is beautiful. And I've always admired Vicky's work. So we decided to do a swap and there's a beautiful bookmark in my swap. There was also this cute little tin, and there was a beautiful skein of yarn which has been put away. This here needs to go into my project bag, which is beside me. That's the yarn that I'm using currently for the second project. And then I have all of my paint swatches. These two are actually the same. My goal in September was to paint our guest bathroom, and I want to paint it this color, Queen's Wreath. And then the other thing I wanted to do was to paint my ensuite. And I want to paint it this color here, Soft Chinchilla, which I love this color. Our bedroom is the gray smoke, that's this one here. And I just want the bathroom to be a little bit more of a warmer bluey gray. And this is the color we had at our old house, so I love it, tried and true. And our downstairs bathroom was this color as well, so I know that I will love it. It doesn't quite match, but it's far enough away. There's a door that separates. I'm not going to complain. But have I started it yet? No, and the reason is because my walk-in closet, inside the closet, there is a closet under the stairs and my painting stuff is at the back of that closet. And currently I need to go through and I need to declutter my closet a little bit so I can get to the painting stuff. So my goal is in October, to at least get one of those bathrooms painted. But in order to do that, I need to clean my closet. But right now, we're going to first start off with this area. And it's still looking, it's looking a lot better than it was. I'm just gonna pop Nancy Drew and Holiday Road into one of the knitting drawers. The beautiful fall mice bag is going to be a knit vent project, as is my lovely Hohe and Co bag. So those will be close at hand. And then I've got an extra pair of glasses that I will put away. And then those two upside down papers there, those are secret patterns. While putting things away, I pulled something else out. I love my spells bag. This is a nest bag by Bird Leg Bags. And I absolutely have to use this for one of the knit vent Project. So I have pulled this down and I will have to figure out which project will go in here, but it's that time of year, I must use it. So while I'm trying to put stuff away and pulling stuff out too, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Here we are, much better organized. I've even done a little bit of a vacuum of the floors here and this is project two. I have the spells bag ready for a project. Two patterns there. This Hohe bag is ready for a project and there's some minis in there. And then I've got my Fall Mice by So Sweet Violet with some minis in there as well. So now that I'm looking around, the space feels a little bit calmer. I need to go through all my coats and unfortunately, many of them are mine and get those hung up, but I need to deal with my closet first so I can get the painting gear and paint. Anyway, this is my straightened up knitting table and that does, definitely has me feeling a lot calmer. Now that I have cleared up this space here, I'm hoping that the weather clears a little bit because I would love to go and get my anthology throw photographed. I was hoping to do it today. 
hopefully tomorrow we have the weather that cooperates so I can get that photographed for Thursday and then on Thursday I get to share it with you so that will be very very exciting the mats are put away the wires and the pins are put away ready for the next project but um, felt good to get that straightened up and then of course I straightened up here the closet is next so that I can get the painting gear out and hopefully tackle the one project that I've really wanted to work on this October and that is painting the bathroom slash bathrooms again crossing fingers anyway I am wishing you a wonderful day 25 wherever you are and I hope that you are enjoying your October we are almost through this month which is just so strange how fast the months go anyway I think I need to warm up my Starbucks tea because I have been doing so much around here including a little bit of vacuuming and lots of straightening that this has gone cold but you know what cheers to cold tea because that means we've been busy have a great day. Bye. the microwave but you know what it's a really quick way to warm up that tea especially when your Starbucks your own personal Starbucks barista makes you a cup of